When it comes to health care, Johnny Gary prefers old school, meaning just he and his doctor call the shots without any input from an insurance company. It's been fantastic. It's called concierge medicine. Patients pay their primary care physician a monthly fee in exchange for unlimited access 24-7. Concierge medicine used to be for the rich and famous, not anymore. We're trying to obliterate that stigma and make sure that people around, people in this country understand that concierge medicine, or what we're calling direct medicine, is affordable and something that everybody should strive for. The allergies are everywhere. Here at Diamond Physicians in Dallas, adults pay from $95 to around $300 a month based on age. That covers all acute procedures and medications. Say they have a, uh, they fell and they cut their hand. Um, well, they come in, we sew them up. That laceration repair is an acute procedure. It's included in that low monthly fee. If they get a stomach bug and they need IV fluids uh, and let's say some nausea medication, that's an acute medication. It's included. If they have a fracture and they need to come up to, come up to our office and, and have a splint placed, that's included. Sometimes patients pay extra for services outside the office, like a CT scan. But doctors negotiate cash rates with those third-party vendors that are a fraction of what they bill insurance. So for an MRI, for instance, uh, we pass those savings on to our clients, $400 instead of $4,000. X-rays for $60 instead of $500. CBC, which is a blood check, $5. Cholesterol check for $6 instead of $126. <sighs> The cost for children is even less at $45 a month. It's funny, I feel like my children only get sick on the nights and the weekends when the offices are closed. So um, they're available via text message, emails, whatever you know, form of communication is most convenient for you, uh, the answer immediately. I really have never waited more than five minutes maximum maybe for a return response. It is amazing. Take a deep breath. Can you do that? Doctors recently gave Griffin here a breathing treatment, prescription, and a nebulizer to take home, all covered by the monthly fee and on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Perhaps the biggest difference between concierge and insurance-based medicine is the time patients spend with their doctors. The Affordable Care Act flooded offices of already overloaded primary care physicians to the point where FaceTime with doctors can average as little as eight minutes. I can't do anything effective in eight minutes other than just throw a prescription at you and tell you to come back and see me in two weeks if it doesn't work. Primary care doctors who accept insurance treat about 3,000 patients. The typical concierge physician, 500. Here at Diamond, doctors Lissy and James promise their patient load won't exceed 600. I meet with my clients for about an hour every time they come in. Um, even if they're coming in for something acute, maybe a sinus infection, an ear infection, I take that time to talk about wellness, talk about nutrition, fitness, overall uh, elevation of health. Although concierge medicine involves paying cash for day-to-day -day medical expenses, doctors do recommend buying insurance, but with a high deductible. But then use that insurance should you get in a car accident and have a 10-day hospital stay with a $100,000 bill. Uh, that $6,000 or $7,000 deductible looks awfully nice at that point. So as insurance-based health care complicated this crucial need, more patients and doctors are going old school with a cash-only plan similar to the way it was a half century ago. Lori Johnson, CBN News.